And first at five, the Guadalupe Valley lakes are back open, or at least parts of them are. The Guadalupe Blanco River Authority originally planned to drain lakes McQueenie, Placid, Meadow, and Gonzales over safety concerns following dam failures at other lakes. Our Garrett Berger explains a compromise reached with homeowners last month will temporarily keep the lakes full, but not all parts of those lakes will be accessible. Dramatic video of Lake Dunlap spillgate failure this May shows the danger a panel of experts is trying to avoid. A lake can turn into a river very, very quickly, truly a matter of moments. Four lakes had been completely closed for the past month, pending the experts' report, which was turned in this week. It declares unsafe zones near dams along the Guadalupe River, and not just near the aging GVRA dams creating the four Guadalupe Valley lakes, but even the Saffold Dam in Seguin. The red on this map shows prohibited unsafe zones. That means nobody in or on the water, so no swimming or boating. Yellow means restricted unsafe zones, where you still can't go in the water. But the boating is allowed in the restricted zones with a properly fitted PFD on the person. Outside of those unsafe zones, the water is back open. The panel still needs to deliver a plan for Lake Gonzales, which remains closed for now. By court order, these unsafe zones would stay in place until a trial can determine the final fate of the lakes. There are also plans to try and get the aging dams repairs funded and underway. The lake associations um, on four of the lakes are uh, moving forward with solutions, mainly regarding creating their own taxing districts. The GBRA still needs to implement some of the protections the experts recommend, like buoys and signage, and property owners in prohibited areas need to get permits to be able to get in and out. The unsafe zones might be a bit of a headache, especially if you live in one. You know, I'm not an expert. I'm just a homeowner, and I want to go in the water. I want to put my grandkids in the water. But it beats the alternative. This is heaven sent. I'd rather have water in the lake than no water in the lake. With the panel's report, these areas now are opened up or remain restricted depending on what the report said. The board passed a new ordinance today that would conform with the experts' recommendations and give them some teeth. But they're still waiting on word from the county attorney on whether or not it's enforceable. Even then, it will be at least two weeks before the GBRA's new ordinance goes into place. Live in the newsroom, I'm Gary Berger.